can't even get to it, so Lily's gonna be starting the machine here. She's 11 and she knows how to start a walk behind snowblower. So Brady is going to go deliver a repaired generator to a local customer here. He's going to go get his helmet. 
The local customer is meeting him about three miles from our property. Um, I find that as a mother pretty darn cool. Doesn't have his license yet, like I said, and he is finding a way to bring the product that he has repaired to his customer. Well, that's good customer service, folks. He is a motivated 16-year-old. Brady has his own phone number and he does local uh, repairs, so if anybody in Willow area needs a repair on a generator, a small engine, <clears throat> Brady is a mechanic in the works, and you can leave us a comment, <clears throat> and Brady can get back to you if you're a local Alaskan. Yeah, Bye, Brady! And you're looking to get a small engine repaired? Like I said, <clears throat> Look at that motivation. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different this video. And instead of kind of showing you what physical projects we're doing or what we're moving or what snow we're pushing, we kind of talk about the mental preparation and kind of what goes on in all of our heads while the snow is falling or before it even comes here. So sometimes if those of you are wanting to do this one day in your life, um, it helps to kind of know mentally how to get prepared for a lot of snow. So I'm going to interview my family. So first I'm going to tell you what I do during a snowstorm or before is I'm always in there cooking, <laughs> baking cookies and making sure everybody's bellies are full because if your bellies are not full, you can't be outside long when it's that cold. So I'm always kind of inside just keeping everything churning while they're out here doing this, that, and the other. So I'm kind of the on-call, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? So now I'm gonna turn it over and film my family so you guys can kind of see their perspective. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. You got Brady right there. Hudson, Lily, and we got Harley right there. We got 16, 18, almost 12, 14. I prefer to keep that. Well, I guess not. Never mind. And they are growing fast. And we homeschool all of them. So we're always together. <laughs> and then we got the boss here. We got the boss. Hello. So I thought today, viewers, that it would be, instead of seeing us do our physical work, uh, like you guys have seen in previous videos, we're going to talk about how we mentally prepare for record snowfall and when we know if snow is going to be coming in and while it's coming in, what our thoughts are. So if you guys are ever thinking about doing this, you kind of have an insight to what not only are we doing, but what's in our heads before it comes and while it's coming. What is Brady doing? Make sure everything's running. <laughs> Make sure everything's running. What kind of thing's running? Generators and snowblowers. Yep. Generators. So this is the mechanic right here. Mechanic and the family. Okay. Hudson, what is okay, one okay, thing okay. you are doing? I am leaning against the snowblower right now. Okay, but when it's a snowstorm, <laughs> what are you doing? How are you preparing? Uh, cleaning off car parts, and mm -hmm. shoveling, right. stuff like that, heating things up usually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I sometimes set my alarm at an early hour to clean off the carports so they don't collapse because of the record snowfall. Right, like in the morning when everybody yeah. else is sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we kind of separate, delegate, and work as a team so our structures don't collapse, basically. Everybody has their role. Let's move to Lily here. What's Lily doing? Mm -hmm. Usually you and Harley work as a pair together. What are you guys doing? Well, yeah. snow shoveling. Yeah, I got to take it. <laughs> All right, Lily. So what are you doing to kind of prepare for the storms when they come and when they're here? Picking up extension cords mm -hmm. before they get covered. Yes. Then making sure all the tools are picked up in the uh, ground. That's true. Good. And Don't you guys always run around and make sure there's nothing on the ground that would hurt, harm the snowblowers, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a big part. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Kind of pick up. Right. These two work together as a team. Yeah, Most they're a the team time. a lot. These guys right here. Our viewers kind of know, our, our long-term viewers. Up against 
Yeah, many, these guys many are a team. Of, uh, men. Yep. They're they're uh, they Quite work the dairy pair. hard. Yep. And if you guys know what dairy working on a dairy is like, these guys would know. Yes. So, uh, they work harder than most men I know. Yep. So. So what does Harley do? Yeah. Well, he's, wait, 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 wait. Wow. We, we, need to, we need to mention something. Yeah. He used to work concrete. Yes. Just so you know. Shut the finger. Is that a bad thing? No. No, no, because most men you know are concrete guys. So, oh, that's true. Yeah, so, true. So just guys to clean I do know, that up actually a little do bit. Because, yeah, that's you know, true. And um, that, could, that could look bad. Carpenters. Right. And, true, true, true. Mm -hmm. So he's true. done office work. No, no, no. That was my job. Yeah. Okay. So, Harley, how are you pitching in when the record snowfall comes and... What's your part of the team here? What do you and what do you do? Well, you kind of tell me what to do, so I kind of. Do we tell you what to do? That's Mom true. Mom tells me what to do, and I do it. Nah, yeah. <laughs> that'll change. Well, that's yeah. funny, her. <laughs> My gosh, you're like stand up tall, Dad. Let's see if Harley's almost your size. I told you. Wow. I'm on a downhill. It doesn't count. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Yeah. All right, why well, we didn't fit. Okay, so we did basically tell you what to do. True. Um, but what do you keep a sharp eye out for to make sure it's looking eggs, good? I check for eggs. Check for <laughs> eggs so they don't freeze on yeah. us? Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Yep, the eggs will freeze. Yep. Constantly tidying up. Yep. Trash, trash patrol. Yeah, trash, trash patrol. patrol. Um, putting yep. things up. Putting things up. Covering things, dusting things off. Right. And then, too, if we know a storm is coming, we'll also make sure we are stocked up on our... I'll take that yawn out, Hudson. So another thing we do, too, is we make sure we have plenty of uh, propane, plenty of diesel, plenty of gas, if there is a storm on the way. Because if you can't get out of here, you can't go get more gas, diesel, propane. So we make sure... Or food, yes. Yeah, so we make sure we've got the food, too. We get ready by... Uh making sure the tractor has diesel mm -hmm. making sure the uh the blower is greased right uh, the right chain's exactly snugged up. plenty of shear bolts for our snow blowers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you know we know where our shovels are we pick up our extension cords right um plenty of fuel for our generators so right. we don't have to go to town right um, right right but we hope for big snowfall because we actually do snow removal that is true so we do we, we like big amounts of snowfall exactly that's uh, true uh, so it's always not a bad thing, you know, yeah. we embrace it, but we'll flip the cars around and point them the right yeah, that's direction true. for driving out just so it's not a hassle. True. Um, Very true. Yeah. Very true. All right, let's part up. Yeah, let's get some stuff done. Yeah. And then some other tidbits here. Wait, hold on. Let me get you in focus. Right. So you want to Which think... it's not focus. Hold on. All right. I'm losing paper. Okay. No. No. I'm kidding. Um, so another thing you would like to have in order is your clothing. Mm hmm You know, if you live remote, off the grid, you want to make sure you got your, your wool socks clean. That is very uh, true. Clean and dry because your feet, you know, if you re-wear your socks over and over, they just don't cut it. They get, mm -mm. They, they get salty and pasty and... Yep. Um, it, it, you know, I'm wearing leather boots here. They're insulated. For, they're, I think, what are these? Carol, no, Georgia's. Mm -hmm. You know, they're more of a, a summertime boot. Right. Uh, 400 gram pencilate. But I have really good wool socks on and I keep them right. clean. I have, have multiple pairs. Mm -hmm. So you keep your clothing in order, keep it dry, and have stuff to change into. And if you start sweating, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to go inside warm up right change out your stuff yeah that's uh, kind of what the military does right because um, we do go in and warm up multiple times through the day i thought we had comments on that do yeah we, we do we do go warm um, up yeah it gets too cold not you to know, make sure you have your food supplies we my wife uh sarah she does all the cooking and um cleaning inside and, and keeps dishes clean keeps water going keeps us going with coffee mm -hmm. um you know sometimes it can be a couple couple days of Kind of rebound after a mm -hmm. good storm. Oh, for sure. Like, you know, snow blowing and stuff. Catching up. Um, yeah, you just maybe have some bags of salt, some mm -hmm. uh, ice melt going on. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, if you move snow for a, for a business, you, you have to deal with your own home and then go out and right. take care of other people's homes. Yep. And in the meanwhile, you can neglect yourself and you got to learn to oh, yeah. not overdo it because you'll find yourself kind of hurting the next day. Yeah, no good. So pace yourself. That's a good idea. Pace yourself. That's a good tip for yeah. sure. Pace yeah. yourself. Cause... I always tell my son Harley and my daughter Lily, you guys have to pace yourself. You know, we want to work for a long time, not right. just a short time and be done for the day. Right. That's true. You know, Pacing is good. Steady Eddie. Steady Eddie. Uh, yeah, propane's a big deal. Know where your torches are if you use right. them. Right. You know, we need to install a block heater on our tractor. We need to, mm -hmm. you know, and a battery heater. Right. Um, you know, that's stuff we know we need to do. I mm -hmm. use a propane torch. It's it's heat right now, but, right. you know, you have to keep an eye on it. And, well, and, and don't you have to make sure it doesn't get ice cubed to the ground and, like, frozen in? you got to put it up. Yeah, doesn't you have it kind of get frozen up, and it will freeze into the the, the ice ground and it refreezes and yeah. it's hard to get it out. Exactly. So put it under something. If you've ever chiseled out an uh, extension cord out of two or three inches of ice, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's 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 difficult because you're you're doing it and you're you're cutting along mm -hmm. and your cord's coming out right and then one nick yeah one nick with that axe and you you cut yep. the thing right in half that's true I've done it oh yeah <laughs> we've all done it we've all done it we have extension cords that you know have been mended yep. and stuff like that but um pick up your I guess cords. the best advice I could give is is just just know you can do it. Right, and and then know what you're made of. your team, like our team of six, will divide and pair up, and everybody kind of has their role. And I think that's why we're able to get through a lot of these horrible, scary storms because we divide up and we uh, work as a team, and everybody does a different, you know, task or a chore. It's the teamwork yep, for that sure. gets us through. I feel like, yeah, good for teamwork. Sure. Good teamwork. Mm -hmm. I always say we got the train rolling. Don't stop it. Yeah. So. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, we're getting there. We're we're further ahead. At, you know, no loans, no nothing on this gig. So uh, uh, we're a lot further ahead at this year than we were oh, last yeah, year. That's true. That is or true. Two years ago. And, yep. Uh, well, two two years ago there was 400 yards of driveway. And right. That was it. Right. None of this was opened up. Right. <clears throat> no well. No. We're gonna building. try and get together like a our story video. Um, to tell you guys at some point. Oh, for sure. But we're just so busy <laughs> keeping up with our current <laughs> we'll get there. situation. It's not a lot of extra time. Our story so. keeps keeps going. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and we're meeting some great people. We love Willow. Yeah, we Willow's love Alaska. Cool. Sometimes, you know, when your hands are super cold and they hurt, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's 20 Let degrees out hands. and I'm bare. Well, they're just hands. Yeah. Look pretty good, actually. Yeah. Um, but it's about 20 <laughs> degrees right now, right. and I don't have gloves on. I mean, but, you, yeah, you, mm -hmm. you get acclimated to the cold. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, just like people who live in Arizona, mm -hmm. they get acclimated to the heat. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's just that's how the body works. It's an mm -hmm. amazing thing. You hear the chickadees. So it's not as, as it's it's tough. It can be tough. Yeah. But it's sure uh, rewarding, oh, and so... uh, and your body will acclimate. You'll get used to yes. it. Uh, the mosquitoes are hard to get used to. Yeah. I, I got to say. June and July, the mosquitoes come in. Woo! Or they the come no in with a vengeance. The noceums yeah. and the uh, little black flies with the little white, the white tails socks. on. Oh. Boy. Boy, they're all jaw, I tell you. Just... Yeah, they are all jaw. They are the... <laughs> bite you through a shirt. Preparing. And and just know you can do it. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, that's, right. that's the main thing. We don't live so far out that, we, you know, you could call... You, uh, we could have a fire department get in here. They'd right. have to use a four-wheel drive rig, you know, to come right. get us. We do know people with helicopters. Right. So, you know, it'd right. be expensive, but right. we could get a ride out of here. Right. Lickety split. So. Did, did um, I have a bird on me? Yeah, I just buzzed you. A little oh, okay. tweety, a little well, songbird. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever they are. Right. What are those birds called, They're, Billy? Are they chickadees? Chickadees. Black. Black cap chickadees. They're so cute. So oh, like here, these here, these the shovels shovel over on. here. Hold on. They're not in focus. Hold on, hon. I got to. So these shovels over here, we're surely going to put them up and not leave them out overnight. And that's part of what I was kind yeah, of talking about. Yeah, might snow tonight. Oh, yeah. Check it out. So we've we've worked this one pretty good. They don't make Look them like that. they used to. But wow. what I want to do is get it back, right? Uh -huh. Get that back like that or so right. with the vice and... 
And then I want to put it in a vise and I want to put some uh, JB Weld on this. Ah. Smooth it over, trial it out. And I right. want to see how that works. That thing is um, I'll rough it up a bit so the JB Weld sticks. Yeah. I also thought about using some truss straps mm -hmm. and rivet. Okay. Make a patch and rivet uh, yeah. the truss straps. Right. Uh, That'd be interesting. For that, it's galvanized. Yeah. And I have a rivet gun and I have rivets. And maybe if the viewers have any suggestions to make, because we like to make our stuff last as long as we can. If you guys have any suggestions how to repair or keep this little shovel going here, just leave it in the comments. We're all about learning. Yeah, I think the JB Weld will be great. So yeah. this is an old school one, probably from, oh, it made in USA. Mm -hmm. Right there. USA. Right. right. Okay. So this is probably from early 90s. Right. Got this from a wonderful lady, Connie. Right. Right. And um, we got a lot of hand tools from her, but but this is strong. Right. This is like, old you can thing. hear the difference. Listen mm -hmm. to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's the, <laughs> yeah, well, that's the old the one. Same Do spot. You, okay. They're both this broken. Fun. Okay. Oh, wow. Totally different. Totally different sound. This is like good and hard. That's a different metal than You know, that. and if you can keep this shovel going another four or five jobs. Ooh, an egg, yay. You know, a couple grand, right? Of, right. of jobs. Right. Well, these shovels cost that. <clears throat> right. Piece of shovel. Yeah. Costs about $60 here right. in Alaska. Right. Mm-hmm. And it broke in a month. Right. Jeez. This is from the 90s. That's insane. Look at that. That this tells you the, the metals. Jeez. <laughs> so. Wow. Oh, and then we were going to talk about, too, there's this other shovel. This has a name. The Yuka Scooper. What is this? Yeah. How does that work? And how is that different from the metal shovels? Why don't you do a little education there? So these, say mm -hmm. you have a track home yeah. driveway, right? right? 30 by 60. Mm -hmm. You come out your garage. Right. Yeah. Ooh, out uh, on the pump. sidewalk. Okay, I got right? it. Okay. Or side to side, right? Right. And then come back like this, right? And then you just like tip a it over. It's blade, but you're the power, oh, cool. right? Okay. You flip it around. Right. And go back the other way, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. No, David, it's not Sam. Okay. Same yeah. Thing. Same thing. So that has its place. The, is that a Uper Scooper? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but I think the, the Uper Scoopers uh, uh, Upper Peninsula okay. area of Michigan, I think, and right. theirs are big. They're wide. Okay. Like we had a neighbor that was from Michigan. Right. And he had one custom mm. knife shovel. Neat. I have to get his name, but... but every tool has its place for a certain part of the job, so it's cool that we have a couple different uh, styles of shovels. And again, be sure to put those up because it may snow overnight. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, That's if you cool, take though. care of them and don't use it for a, you know, a, it's not a a flat shovel you'd use for right. shoveling gravel. Right. But it's great for shoveling big, light, fluffy, fresh snow. Fluffy. The fluffy, the fresh stuff that hasn't been ran over right. or walked on. Right. This is great. Come right out the driveway, right out of your garage. Fluff it up. And Fluff right it. here is concrete, <clears throat> snow in front of you. Right. It's great, but when you've right. walked over the snow and packed it down, these yeah, don't work that Yeah, probably much. not much. Then you'd reach for that tool over there. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right, So well. I've been out here for about a half hour, 20 degrees, um, totally doable, but yeah. now I, know. Now I I'm work today, like, so my hands are getting a little chilly. I'm feeling like cookies. Yeah. We need, we, we, Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Woo! Bye, guys. See you on the next video.